So, we are ready to show you some more progress from the Scene Director mod. This time we will look at Synced Animations, which is a new feature coming up, which I haven't wrapped my head completely around how it will work, but I think the basics are starting to get clear. So, what is a Synced Animation? Well, Synced Animation is what you see in cutscenes and other actions during the game. Uh, it basically means that there's two animations running at the same time, um, which are intended to run exactly at the same time. These might involve, or usually involve, two actors or three or four actors, uh, but they can also involve one actor and an object, or two actors and several objects at the same time. So we'll show you some examples of that. So for now, what we implemented is sort of a preview function for synced animations and a way to test your own synced animations. I would guess, so far I've just gone through the list of maybe the first six or seven thousand animations uh, and I would say I've covered probably hundred synced animations so far but I guess there's even more when we come down into the direct um, animations which concern to specific missions or, or tasks within GTA um, so the synced animations are basically the, the list of synced animations are basically the animation list we already have and based on the naming standards, we can see that they are supposed to work together. So we'll have a look here at the synced animation preview, is, which is the most important feature. Uh, I think I will, for now, create a list of synced animations and publish it as part of the mod. But we'll find some process on how the community can add their own. So let's start. So we now have two actors. Um, the first actor will be the main um, sort of actor main pad which will execute the animation and when the synced animation start the other one will be teleported into the location uh, which suits so let's start the animation so as you can see we by default we're having looping on so both camera movements uh, facial movements is actually included as part of the synced animations and for some synced animations, they are perfectly aligned like this. Uh, for other animations, you can see um, that they're not aligned, but you need to place the uh, actors from a distance. For example, the takedown with weapons like the hatchet uh, will require that. So let's take the loop off and just go through some of the animations. So these are then from the victory scenes from multiplayer. Uh, for many of these, there is a variant with uh, different genders, so there's typically three different variants of the same animations. So this is the handshake one, and um, now we're getting the bro hug, and the next animations we're getting is the ones which contain some objects. So when you have the object, we need to uh, identify the prop ID, uh, but we will automatically create that prop when you're running the animation. So I think the next one will be a gamer animation. So let's just put the loop on, yeah. So I'm putting the loop back on for this now. So basically when you start these animations, we have identified that we have two different props, which is the controller and the headset, which is a bit hard to see here. Um, and those will, by the mod, be created just before we run the, the animation. And after the animation is finished, we can choose to, whether to delete it or just leave it like it is. Here you see it doesn't fully align because this is specially made for uh, one certain sort of character within uh, GTA. Let's just take the loop off. Now we see a different one where it's actually opening a door. And here the door is then um, an object which this is synchroni synchronized animation as well. Some more uh, multiplayer um, victory celebrations and for these synced animation I think we can document them quite well by just recording um, the videos of them running and putting them out on YouTube I might add an ID something like the same way as we have the animation codes but just with an S before uh, but we'll see you might also see there's a field called set adjustments on the top um, of the screen. 
it means that the animations are not really aligned with the ground. Some of them are slightly below and some of them are slightly above. So for each sync animations, this seems to be a manual work right now to identify how that's going to be. Uh, the rest of what you see in the list is basically the animation codes uh, of the sync animations. And that's something you can test with the animation preview individually as well. You see they don't always follow each other, like here is 1798 and then 3700 something. Uh, that's because the first animation list we had wasn't really complete. So afterwards, when we process the animation available afterwards, uh, we found new ones. So that makes it a bit diff more difficult to, to actually identify which ones belong together. But basically the, the work behind this and, and identifying the synced animation is just going through the animation list we have already in the mod and looking at the names for things which seem that there's more than one actor running at the same time. So I think now we've identified 77 animation. So this, here you also hear this sound intro this. This is a takedown from the cougar. So if you have the cougar model on one of the actors, this will look much better. But it's also something where you see that the location of the actors is not synced. So here we need to find some way uh, of doing this. Here you see one where the location is synced, but it sort of applies to if you're sitting on a motorcycle. This one is a passenger, so it's not really synced on the location side. And these are the takedowns as well. So for these one, even though they're not really properly synced animations, meaning that there's an offset when you're playing them, uh, I think we'll treat them from the mod as the same thing. So basically I think we just need to find out what is the closest actor, what's the heading, um, where that actor is, and then just play back the animation at the same time of these two actors. And even though you can do a lot of these takedowns yourself when you're running an animation, now you can actually pick exactly the one uh, you want to have. So we haven't quite decided how to activate the synced animations. Uh, I'm guessing it was something similar to what we have for animations today. Uh, that you press the out key and a number or... And then I think we will execute the animation on the actor you are and try to find the nearest actor which will then be typically be a recipient. Uh, through the edit scene functionality, we will also make it available to change which actor is the primary and the secondary, or at least the secondary actor in a, such a scene. That's a nice headbutt. I'm running this recording with a spotlight feature. Uh, this is a nice feature which unfortunately is not recorded by the Rockstar editor, so you won't see those lights when you go in there. So and these are um, takedowns when the actor is on psycho. Uh, here I haven't bothered giving them a good name. Here we see the set adjustment and it's not completely right. They're a bit above the ground, so that needs to be adjusted. Right now I have a Google um, Sheets document where I add the different synced animations and then I just run a quick conversions into code which I use in the mod. So these are then from the dots uh, functionality within the game. I think this will give a lot of much more depth into the machine modes we can actually make now um, as there's a lot of expressions. Here you see one drinking scene where the locations are not synced although they don't have a natural offset. So here you need to be on different sides of the uh, bar and at the exact right locations. Uh, this one also will also have objects so if I just can identify the objects uh, I can easily just trigger the object animation as well. So you will see a bottle and you will see the glass. And there's a separate um, drinking scene which is, happens in the strip club and that actually has the offset from standard. Yeah. There 
capture some of those animations as well. This is then another drinking scene where there is objects involved. And for some of these scenes, this actually, in order to be fully synced, it has to happen in the strip club. So there has to be a good way of fine tuning this position. We could have this as hard coded locations for some of them, like this one, but I think it's better to use the edit scene mode to allow you to adjust the position exactly. Something similar where you basically select an animation recording and then you move it with um, the same way as you move, move the camera. This is one of the scenes I think you really see what possibilities we now have. This is Jimmy and Simeon actually arguing and it makes much more lifelike I think there might also be a facial animation here, so I'm not sure why that is not being rendered here, but that's something we could also trigger manually. And this is a uh, second. And you see, it doesn't really always handle the collisions directly, but I have seen some like repelling uh, trans uh, animations where you're not allowed to go below ground, so there's some check here. So this is just going in the car, and here you also have car, which are part of the animation. This is actually the last one. So if we had those objects, we would see it. So it's really detailed and it's very well synced. All right, that was what I wanted to show you. Um, I will release the beta once the video is uploaded to YouTube. Um, and I'll probably work a bit more on how we can then trigger these animations from recording the scene. Most of that work is already in place because the way I've built the preview functionality, but I think the major challenge is really how to find a good way of triggering this. Alright, stay tuned.